Okay guys, so we got some announcements and a possible release. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Jay with Brother Cousins Toy Reviews and that's right, I am back with the news. Okay guys, like I was saying, we got some announcements and a release. Not the release I wanted. I'm still waiting. I'm thinking that Hot Toys is probably going to drop something again later today, but so far, this is what we got. Let's take a look at it. Boom and bap. All right, first up, we got Captain Vaughn. That's right, Captain Vaughn from Clone Wars. They are really like just doing it up with this Clone Wars line. And to be honest with you, I saw this coming. I knew it would happen. I didn't think they would announce it today, but I did see this coming, especially with, you know, these clones being, they have all the parts. It's just a few changes in paint and a few changes in parts overall, but pretty much the same 501st figure we've been getting. Uh, let's take a look at Captain Vaughn. He looks dope. And the biggest thing that you know makes him different is the cog that is painted over the helmet the paint looks good the helmet looks good you get more antennas on the helmet and he has this little piece right here on the uh on the uh chest on the breastplate his rank i guess and that's what that would be his rank his captain rank and it looks cool it looks good like i said it looks i mean we've seen We've seen these clone troopers before, so they really didn't have to change too, you know, too many pieces. Really, they just had to paint certain areas and they just had to add these uh, antennas here on the sides. But for the most part, he's pretty much the same, same figure. He looks good overall. That helmet looks dope. The weathering, the weathering on the clone troopers is just very nice. Like if you guys haven't seen Cody or don't have Cody in hand just yet, he's phenomenal. And the weathering on that figure just, it's just, it's just mind blowing. I mean, that alone, the weathering alone just makes it worth the while. But yeah, Vaughn looks good. Here's Vaughn with some more 501st and he looks great, looks awesome. There's another shot, another shot. Of course, you, they had to do the flight, you know, the flight pose. This is awesome right here. And we also got this guy right here, which we will be talking about. We will be talking about this guy next. So that looks dope. Very cool. Very awesome. You know, I mean, they did this for the guys that love the army build. So, you know, this, this, you know, this takes the cake. Very cool. Very cool. And of course, we get some holograms of Ahsoka and Rex. Holograms of Ahsoka and Rex. Ahsoka, give us Ahsoka. Please, Hot Toys. I'm serious. Give us Ahsoka. And here's everything that comes with Vaughn. You get this uh, backpack. I'm not exactly sure what kind of backpack that is. Can't remember and all that. But you get the weapons, standard clone trooper weapons. You get some hands and you get some holograms that who really cares. They stay in the damn box, but you know, they're good to pose up with if you, you know, whatever. But uh, figure looks good. Figure looks great. Let's move on to our next announcement. We have Clone Trooper Jesse right here. And Jesse looks dope. Jesse looks great. I mean, the big thing that lets you know is Jesse is the cog, the, once again, the cog painted directly on the helmet. And like I said, they, they had most of these parts already, which is why it's not a surprise. I mean, they have all the Rex parts right here, so it's not hard to make Jesse. And there you are, you have another Tamora, another wonderful Tamora Morrison head sculpt, and they have the cog tattooed right on his face, so you know that it is Jesse. 
So yeah, like I was saying, they have all these parts already with Rex. So of course they were gonna come out with this. It's kind of a repaint, but if you're into Clone Wars like that, you would get it. Me personally, I don't think I'm gonna be getting these two, but it is, it is dope. I have Rex, I think Rex is awesome, but for the people that want an army build, of course they were gonna give you Jesse. So yeah, and Jesse looks cool. Like I said, most of these parts we already have, with the exception of a few. He has this different guard right here. He also has the shin guards right here, which look dope. He kind of looks like a ninja. That's, you know, that's why I always kind of like Jesse, just because, you know, he had that, you know, that feel right there, especially with that part of the leg. That looks really dope, really cool. And the skirt is different colors. He has a few more belts and buckles, clips, holsters, all that type of stuff. So like I said, it's pretty much, you could tell this was built off of a, a, a Rex base. Looks great. Just look at that. That looks good. I mean, Jesse is dope, y'all. He's a dope figure. Like I said, I don't think I'll be getting him myself. I'm not gonna go that deep on the Clone Wars line, but for, the, for you guys that are, damn, this looks great. Looks awesome. Very cool. Once again, you get a close up of Tamora Morrison's head sculpt with the tattoo cog on his face. That brother's dedicated. He got a tattoo on his face for life. <laughs> Looks good. Looks good. Let's go back. And you see him and Cody in the back just a real good pair like i said for all you guys that are building that are army building like my guy anthony from uh six scale mafia y'all going y'all hey you guys are gonna have a ball with these figures straight up man this looks good looks great looks good look at the weathering look at the weather <sighs> They really got me the weathering. They did an excellent job. These guys look like they've been in a several battles and just beat up and just that man looks good. It looks good. Once again, you get uh, you get more holograms, more holograms, more close ups. Okay, here's everything. Rex, I mean, Jesse <laughs> comes with, um, he comes with the Tamora Morrison head sculpt, comes with the rifle, dual pistols, the visor, new backpack, some holograms, some hands, and stand. So everything we know. Uh, moving along with the next announcement, we get this, and we've known about this for a while. Um, I think they showed they showed us this um, about a month ago or two months ago. I don't know. Time moves so damn fast now. Um, yeah, so we get Batman the Dark Knight one, four, uh, one quarter scale. So this looks good. And from what they were saying that I think we'll be seeing this very soon. This is coming to the market pretty soon. So I imagine we'll probably see this in the next, you know, next month or a couple weeks or so in Hong Kong. And if you know if we continue you know if we continue getting what we've been getting like global releases almost with toys wonderland hot toys hong kong and america we may be seeing this here in the states by i, I want to say by christmas maybe it looks like that i could be wrong but they said it's coming to the market pretty soon so that's what i'm thinking so yeah this looks very very good i want it but I ain't got the space for it. Quarter scales, kind of not my thing. They kind of are, but kind of not my thing. Collecting once this scale is, you know, bad enough. But uh, that looks good. Uh, and pretty much, let's go back to the main camera. Yeah. So that was our announcements for today. As for releases, um, the Cyborg Spider-Man from the video game line is, I believe that is out. 
um, check out Pop Collectibles. Uh, Pop Collectibles actually had it on their Instagram saying that, hey, it's in stock and ready to ship. So definitely check that out. That is out. Don't know why Hot Toys hasn't released any final product photos yet. They're probably waiting on the bloggers. You know? So that's probably what it is. They could have asked me. I would have sent me a figure. I would have took the damn pictures and had it up today. But, you know, who knows what Hot Toys is doing. To be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed. I really thought we was getting something today. I don't know, Pennywise, Ahsoka. Everybody wants Ahsoka. We all want Ahsoka. And I just, I don't get what the weight is. I guess it's something to all the rumors we were hearing about that they were going to change the face sculpt and i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at this point i don't maybe they were changing the head sculpt because they just wanted to improve it let's pray that they just wanted to improve it and not change it to look like a younger rosario dawson now if they pull it off and it looks good i ain't got nothing to say but if it falls short then you're gonna have a lot of people saying a whole lot of shit. so I, I don't know what they're doing, but something something's being done. And I've heard a lot of other things are ready to go. They just are sitting on it for some reason. Who knows? It could be tax reasons. It could be who knows? Who knows what they're doing? Um, but um, I imagine we'll hear something either later today or Monday about another release. Not sure what it is. I don't think it would be Pennywise. I'm hoping it's Pennywise for Will's sake. <laughs> Me and Will's sake. I, I, I hope it's Pennywise because Penny, uh, Pennywise is great. Pennywise, I mean, it's a good figure. I mean, I know it's scary as hell. And I didn't like those It movies. I like the classic It movie. But I don't know. Uh, I think it's going to be worth some money. It's going to be one of, you know, the one-offs are always great. But anyway, guys, I've talked and rambled enough. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Peace.